Thank you. You can be seated. And we will call our graduates up at this time. Come on up. Now they're bashful. They're not usually bashful on Wednesday night. I can't usually keep them quiet. Cody, Richard, Kenzie, perfect. All right, so many of you know if you've been here for more than a year that this is what we do. Um, it's kind of our way of getting back at the seniors for putting us through what they put us through uh, and make them come on stage and tell, them, tell, tell us a little bit about themselves. So uh, I think it's a, I, seriously, I think it's a great opportunity for us because I know a lot of prayer goes into the youth ministries and these kids, and I think it's a great way for us to kind of give back to you in a, in a it feels like an empty way, but in a giving back to you, letting you know what they plan for their lives so we can continue to pray for them as they venture forward. So this is Cody Snyder, Snydog. He, uh, he's been a lot of fun to have in the youth group. He brings insanely good questions whenever there's a topic we're talking about. And I'm trying to stand here where everyone can see him as I talk about him. So Cody... Uh, Always has great questions, always very insightful. In fact, if you ever pose one of these hypothetical questions when you're speaking to the group, Cody usually has an answer for it, too. So I've really appreciated and enjoyed getting to know Cody uh, as a coach and as his youth pastor, and he's just, just a great guy. So, Cody, what, do you, what are your plans? What are you going to do after the summer's over? I'm, we'll, turn that, we'll turn that on. It, it's on. Go ahead. Speak. Oh, speak. I'm going to... University of Minnesota Morris. I got a green light here. Can you hear it? Okay. Own it. Own it, Cody. I'm so, going. Go ahead. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> I plan on going to the University of Minnesota Morris next year. Excellent. What are you going to What are you going to study there? Uh, economics and political science. Awesome. Is there Are there any, anything else you're going to do while you're there? I'm also playing football. Excellent. That's awesome. Good job, Cody. Anything else you want to add? Oh, no. That's enough? Okay. See, this is my chance now. Richard. You guys know Richard, even though... Uh, here, just move over here. We'll move over to Lila. Or Artis, I'm sorry. It's usually Lila. There you go. Richard, you guys may know Richard, and you don't even realize you know him. All right? And Richard is the one that we... Uh, we got all the money for and all the clothing and stuff. It was his house that burnt down this early, this early uh, spring, I think it was. It's, it seems like it's been longer than that. But, uh, so you guys know him. You didn't know you know him, but this is Richard. And uh, Richard is always fun to have in youth group as well. It, my favorite thing about Richard is um, if he's got a question or something, and it's not usually during the discussion time. It's more we have a little social time be in the beginning because if I don't give it to them, they'll socialize while I'm trying to talk. So I give them a little socializing time in the beginning, and Richard quite often will seek me out, and I hear this in the background because I might be talking to somebody. I might be over here talking to Kenzie or whatever, and then behind me I can hear this. I hear, Kevin... <laughs> And it's always Richard. He's got something going on. He wants to talk about something, and and uh, he's 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 just a joy to have. And I'm gonna I'm gonna miss him. But what are you gonna do now after the summer's over? With I'm gonna work with my grandpa around the lake by doing docks because he's getting pretty old to do all that by himself. Sure, sure. And now Richard is not afraid to work because was it last summer? You and your grandpa did a bunch of firewood too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Richard's not afraid to work. You're going to stay in the area and work then? Yeah. All right. Any other long-term plans after that? Marriage, kids, anything like that? Possibly. <laughs> okay. <Somewhere>. There we go. <laughs> Excellent, Richard. Well, why don't you move over by Cody a little bit? All right. This is Kenzie. This is Mackenzie. Um, she has been... She, Mackenzie is... I don't know how to describe her. She... Um, it, it's a good thing. It's not all bad. Uh, <laughs> It's not all bad. We'll, we'll just go through some of the bad and then we'll end with the good, so it's all good. So Mackenzie, though, she is sort of quiet in her own way, but if you give her, if you turn for half a second 
and you look back, Kenzie's talking. Kenzie's always talking. She's doing this sort of, this is, this is how Kenzie talks to people, like this right here. So Kenzie's always very inquisitive. Kenzie, in fact, was one of the ones that got baptized with us last summer. So you guys know her as well. You may not recognize the face. Cause we'd have to wet the hair maybe and, yeah. and get that going. So, I cut it too. Yeah, uh, and it's been cut and sawed off. So, but, um, so Kenzie has really moved in her relationship with Christ, which is always incredible to see. And uh, she's on to bigger and better things. So where are you headed? Um, I'm going to Vermilion Community College in Ely, up three hours north. Three hours north of here. And what are they going to teach you there? I'm going into fisheries and wildlife management and then getting my wildlife um, biology certificate. Excellent. Teach your dad a little more about fish and fishing. Yeah. yeah. Her dad owns Fisher's Resort, so he knows about everything you could possibly imagine about fishing. So, Well, congratulations, Mackenzie. That sounds like a lot of fun. So now what we're going to do now is artists and the, the quilters have made quilts prayerfully for each one of these kids. But what you don't see is there were two others that were uh, affiliated with the youth group and affiliated with the ch church, and, that, <laughs> and he's being robed there. Um, Delaney DeCook graduated this year, and there's a, there's a quilt made for her. And she was, well, she doesn't live up here, but she would go on trips with us and stuff with the youth group. And uh, Maddie Pearson, which is Al's uh, granddaughter, she got a quilt as well. But also the church uh, is kind enough to give each of these kids a, uh, a study Bible. So they also get that. And then there's a card there from somebody, from uh, Pearson, I believe. So, Richard, there you go. You get a Bible as well. And I know I have a third one here. It's a pleasure for us women's group to give these kids, kids quilts. We have lots of fun on Tuesday mornings. We laugh sometimes, we cry sometimes, but it's all fun. <laughs> Yeah, this is a this is a great day. Uh, it's a bit bittersweet because I know that you know I, I'm trying not to cry here, but I know that things change. But it's it doesn't get any easier because these kids become part of our family, and now we get to say goodbye. And it's not fun, but I'm excited for where they're heading. They're going to do great things, and this is a crazy world we live in. And you guys, ah, this world is insane. How are they going to make it? But I have no doubt. There is not a doubt in my body that these three are going to be just fine in this world. In fact, they're going to make changes for the better in this world. So let's, uh, let's just give them a round of applause. You can go to sleep. You can go sit down. <laughs> 